How's it going guys? Tash here and for this week's Deconstructed Valorant has unveiled a brand new agent. I'm really excited because this time we were invited early to try out their brand new control agent Astra. So let's talk about her lore for a little bit. She is an agent from Ghana and she is a futuristic agent from outer space who harnesses the cosmos energies. Her abilities are non-lethal, but she does disrupt and she's actually really great for zone control as well as combos with your teammates. So disclaimer, I'm actually not a pro player, but I will try my best to dumb down the abilities the best I can. So without further ado, her abilities. The first one, her first ability, Binded on C, is a Gravity Well. Think of it as a black hole. Players in the radius will be pulled to the middle of the black hole before it explodes and leaves the players vulnerable. The closer you are to the middle, the stronger the pull. The second ability is a Nova Pulse. This ability concusses players in the area, kind of like a brimstone concussion, where players are slowed temporarily uh, deafened as well as have their vision limited. This stun actually lasts for about 4 to 5 seconds. Okay, her third ability is called Nebula and this is very, very actually similar to an Omen Smoke. So this disrupts vision for both players in the enemy team as well as your own teammates. If you place it wrong, this smoke lasts quite a long time which is around 14 seconds. So each ability must be placed in order to be executed. So Astra places a star in astral form which you can actually access by pressing X. From there, you can basically place a star in any part of the map before you can activate it. You can basically activate this ability from anywhere in the map at all via either the astral form or just by looking in the general direction and placing your crosshair on the star. If say you mess up placing a star, you can actually pull back the star and it actually grants you a 3 second sort of like smoke. Once you've placed the star however, it is considered a used ability. So next round, you actually have to purchase another star. Speaking of purchasing stars, for her abilities, you do not exactly buy an ability. Her abilities are all on cooldown but you are only given 5 stars per round. So each star used is actually very valuable and each star is worth 2 200 points. Blech. Hat hair. Blech. 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 Okay. Uh, what was I gonna say again? So. 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 Now let's talk about her final ability, her ultimate, which is by far one of the most impressive ultimates I've seen so far in a control agent. Her ability. Cosmic Divide actually allows you to place a global smoke wall. Yes, similar to a phoenix wall as well as a viper wall. But think of it tall all the way to the top. And you can see through it. Audio is dampened and here's the kicker. Both players on enemy team and your own team cannot shoot through it. Like it or not. You are going to have to push through the smoke. If you have a bad Astra on your team, you may be the one having to push through. So this ability costs 7 ability points which means that Astra cannot hide in the back and just activate her abilities whenever she wants. She actually has to get kills in order to activate her ultimate. Alright, let's talk about the dummies playstyle. So Astra is great for zone control for both attacker and defender. She's able to control an area well by disrupting the enemy and also obscuring vision. But be warned, if your Astra in your own team doesn't place a smoke right or places a star wrong, let me just tell you that it disrupts both the enemy and your teammates because all of her abilities can affect herself, her teammates as well as the enemies. So knowing the map well is actually a key feature in playing Astra. By knowing where exactly where the enemy would be, where the enemy would be opping, where the enemy would be waiting, that is how you play her because that is where guesswork comes into play. 
Her stars can actually be placed pre-game but can only be activated after the round has started. So let's talk a little bit about tips and tricks. Gravity Well is such a great ability to be used with your teammates. So think about it like this. You have the enemy all pulled together into one black hole and you have a raise alt, a sova alt, a raise grenade, a KJ swarm grenade, a sova shock dart and everything else in between. It's pretty much guaranteed kills or high damage the nova pulse is great for when you're trying to do some guesswork kind of like brimstone when you think there's an enemy waiting in a corner just throw that out kind of like a flash you can custom you slow them you are basically guaranteed a kill knowing key areas to smoke is great for nebula because say like ice boxes uh a site nest or even uh c long in heaven or b window in heaven are areas where snipers as well as players with long-range aim weapons would be waiting. So this obstructs the enemy's vision, allowing you to push in or not allowing enemy to pick you off one by one. So let's talk about Cosmic Divide. How does this work since it's an ultimate? Well, basically it's great for both attacking and defending. So you can actually use it to divide the enemy teams from syncing with each other by kind of like not letting them see where they are. You can actually stop a Sage heal through it. You can actually stop a Sky heal through it. And you can also stop the enemy from shooting you through it. It's kind of like a curtain. You have to walk through it in order to shoot. As a tall global alt as well, think of it like this. You place it across the area like heaven a site that prevents people from sniping over your wall as well, which is actually really great. And for times where you feel like you have rotated to A and then you feel like you need to switch over because there's too many enemies, dropping that will actually help you rotate without alerting the enemies since there is an audio dampener. So that's basically the basics of Astra. There are many ways for you to play her. How you play her may just be key in winning your Valorant games. I'm a huge Sage main, so I'm actually really excited to pick her up because she's actually not super aggressive and it allows me to hold an area really well. I'm so glad I have my new main. All right, guys, if you have any questions, just feel free to drop them off in the comments and we'll try our best to answer it for you guys. I'm Natasha and I'm gonna go practice some Astra because Cosmos is in my hand.